What is going on guys? Jack here and I am back with episode number three of my West Ham United career mode. If you could be ever so kind to smash that like button on this video, I would very much appreciate it. It only takes a couple of seconds out of your day and also subscribe if you are new around here. So more on the transfer front, striker wise, Andy Cow looks set to be leaving if Everton, um, he does agree in terms with the Evertonian side, uh, 7 million the expected fee. We do go into contract negotiations too with... Um, um, not in contract negotiations, sorry. We do actually make a bid for Mbai Niang and also Matt Mazega. So hopefully we can get them into the club. Andy Carroll does actually leave for £7 million. We wish him all the best to Everton. And hopefully he can prove a lot of people wrong and stay fit. Sam Howells does go out on loan to Blackpool. The young 17-year-old goalkeeper has a lot to prove. So it would be interesting to see whether he comes back the same man or maybe someone a little bit better that we can see as backup goalkeeper potentially. We do go into contract negotiations though with Mbai Niang. We do offer him £35 grand per, year, uh, per week. Sorry. 20 grand a goal and 20% bonus per goal should I say in a 5 year deal. Antonio does come into the office and does say he is clear to play for the game against Arsenal which is very good news for us and before going into that game we do actually go into contract negotiations too with Matt Marzega. We offer him 20 grand per week, 20% bonus per uh, clean sheet and a 5 year deal. Hopefully that will be enough to see him join the club as we get ready for a game at the Emirates to open up our Barclays Premier League campaign. Starting with Sacco, Paye, Lanzini. Uh, Dyer, Noble, Sebalos, uh, O'Brien at left back, Obonga, Reed, Byram, and Adrian. Now, O'Brien at left back is a very weird one because we're looking to sell him from the club, but unfortunately, Masuku, Masaku did actually pick up an injury. <sighs> it is a major, major loss for us, but Dyer and Sebalos do make their debut. The Arsenal team we are playing are Danny Welbeck, Santi Cofola, Oxide Chamberlain, Coquelin, Flamini, Sanchez, Monreal, Gabriel Cascioni, Hector Bellerin, and David Ospina. Should be an interesting game as we make a really good start to it here as Noble links up play beautifully to Danny Sabalos, who's through on goal here. He looks to find the back net. It's saved by Ospina. Sacco with a glaring opportunity there. He should have found the back of the net as West Ham come dangerously close to open up the scoring as we come forward again with Diafra Sacco into the path of Mark Noble. Rush at the shot there to Skipper. Unfortunately, he couldn't find the back of the net. As Sabalos gets onto the ball here, finds Dimitri Paye, our talisman O'Brien gets the ball into Noble here. Noble gets the shot away. Ospina, safe hands from him there as we come forward yet again with Sam Byram. It's been all West Ham opening half here as England right back gets down the flanks here, crosses it into the back and or into the back of the back post. <laughs> so I can't get more words out. Eric Dyer does miss as we go into half time though. West Ham are in full control this one. Nil nil between the two sides though, but a likely team looking at, like they're going to find a breakthrough is West Ham as we do find Paye again who links up beautifully with uh, Diafra Sacco, turns away from his man, shoots and hits the post. Very unlucky there as Koscielny does get the ball clear. It's only a matter of time you feel before the Hammers do break the deadlock as Ceballos does find Dimitri Paye. Paye into the path of Eric Dia here. Dia does actually find Lanzini. Great turn from the Argentine who produces a fantastic save there from Ospina. We look to come forward again with Dimitri Paye into the path of Ceballos here. The left mid gets past Hector Bellerin, finds Noble who headers tamely past the post there. Wasted opportunity. As again Hector Bellerin gets onto the ball. Arsenal's first real attack of the game would fall to Alexis Sanchez into Welbeck, back into Coquelin who rushed at the shot there. Game still at nil nil. But a few minutes later we come forward with Mark Noble. Skipper gets a pass his man with ease there. Plays a beautiful through ball to Diafra Sacco. Ospina again comes up clutch with a brilliant save as we do bring on the Arasetia, uh, the Arasetia, Moses and Valencia comes on as the striker. Gabriel onto the ball now. Ramsey does play in Monreal. Monreal turns away and does actually find Aaron Ramsey again. Ramsey finds Ozil into Sanchez, or Giroud, sorry, who puts it just over the bar. And now Arsenal getting in the groove as Giroud puts a great through ball into Sanchez, into the back of the net. He's celebrating the goal, but unfortunately, it is ruled for offside. 0 0 still between the two sides here. And. You know, we come very close to actually going 1-0 down as we do actually find the Arasetia on the ball here. The Arasetia does lay it off into Manuel Lanzini, the Argentine, looking to manage defences. He plays it back into the Arasetia on his debut at the near post. Ospina has been great all game, but he was beaten by a tame effort there from the Uruguay centre-attacking midfielder. But welcome to West Ham United and welcome to the Barclays Premier League, uh, Gino de Arasetia. What a finish that is from the Uruguayan man as he finds the back of the net and that could be the winning goal of this game. Just three minutes left to go of regulation time. Wow. 
Welcome to the Barclays Premier League, Sungers, because Shoney gets onto the ball. He actually does play in Monreal, into Ramsey, into Giroud. Giroud plays it off into Alexis Sanchez, back into Monreal. The left-back turns, shoots, never find the back of net from there. And we would get the end of the game here at the Emirates Stadium. The final score is Arsenal nil, West Ham 1. And we actually get our first three points of the season in our opening game. The most perfect way to kick off our Barclays Premier League campaign under my tenure. Very good to see there from the Hammers. And hopefully we can continue that for the whole of the season and look to get that Europa League league spot again for the Hammers but Dara Seta man of the match wasn't even on the pitch for more than 25 minutes one goal and uh, he performed very well there Ospina probably was a close second to man of the match but as you can see here do some more training with the team Loftus-Cheek and Reece Oxford looking like the future centre defence midfielders at the club as well, we do actually get Mbaini Yang joining the club here uh, we accept the deal uh, 6.2 million pounds 35 grand per week um, I'm very happy with that one also we get knocked back on Matt Marzega I have no doubt in my mind he will be joining the club, but we do um, say he's going to be a squad rotation player set from Spodriatic. And we get some more good news as he does actually join the club now. Raphael Spiegel going to Chelsea. A uh, £4 million deal and 20 grand wages. N not bad at all, actually, uh, for that. Uh, we actually do have another BPL game against current real-life league leaders, Leicester. We actually do win that game 2-1. Uh, Fuchs got sent off. Sebolos and Payet among the goals. 2-1 there. Very good to see from the Hammers uh, as we look to continue... Um, our winning winning form which we have two games two wins perfect start to the season so far as we look to get Brendan Galloway as a backup right back for the club uh, 1.3 million we have uh, offered um, Roberto Martinez does accept that we offer him six grand per week 20% uh, clean sheet deal a five-year deal for Brendan Galloway hopefully he will join the club and be our backup left back we was looking at Jordan Lukaku but it's not looking like that's gonna happen as we get ready for a game against Bournemouth now 3-5-2 we're going uh, Ogbonna, Tompkins, Reed, Dyer, Noble, Paye, Lanzini, Sabolos, Sacco, and Niang all up front. Um, again, it's an unorthodox uh, team, but you know it'd be interesting to see how this one goes at Upton Park. Callum Wilson, Max Gradle, Richie, all players to watch here, even with the likes of a Fobe and a Turbe on the bench, uh, and Junior Stanislas. Uh, and Glenn Murray's a seasoned seasoned stri striker, so he knows where the back of that is. So we know they're going to cause us problems. And Yang actually does play in Mark Noble. The skipper does find Diafra Sacco here. First couple minutes of the game, plays it back into Mark Noble, but Federici does make the save there straight at the uh, goalkeeper, unfortunately. As uh, they do come forward now, Bournemouth. Harry Arter onto the ball, uh, gets away from his man, shoots, and Adrian was rooted to the spot there. I believe that was on target. That's into the back of the net. Very good start from, by both sides here. Dyer links up with Paye beautifully here. The Frenchman sidesteps his man, shoots from range. Federici saves it, falls to Diafra Sacco, tries to head it back, but it does get cleared away. As Manuel Lanzini does find and by Niang, and Niang does actually play into Sacco, who turns away from his man, hits Diafra Sacco, turns back inside yet again with the shot, straight at Federici yet again here. Uh, you feel that we should be making the most of these chances where they could come back to haunt us here. Sermon gets onto the ball here, he links up beautifully with Ritchie. And Adrian has to produce a really good save there to keep the game at deadlock as Daniels gets onto the ball now. Does actually find Ewan O'Kane. Uh, what can O'Kane do is he crosses it all the way to the back post to actually find Sermon with the tame effort. Adrian holds on, not causing him any real problems there. As Paye, beautiful back heel into Lanzini, links up with Niang. Niang turns, shoots, and it's just wide in the mark there. Uh, encouraging start from him as we go into half time. The game's still at 0 0. We expect to see a little bit better from both sides here. Um, you know, we. With the better side on paper we are and we have to make sure we um, assert our dominance as noble gets onto the ball here turns away from distant actually does get taken down in the process the skipper does win a penalty and he will step up to take this one here can we go one new up it's mark noble versus federici down the middle keeper was beat but the crossbar wasn't west ham still find themselves frustratingly at nil nil here trying to find that goal it's not looking like it's happening so far as we are denied from the spot as Paye gets onto the ball here what can he do gets his shot away Everyone was beat there apart from the post yet again. And Bournemouth stay alive as Pye gets into the ball here again. Into the box, into Eric Dier. And what a finish that is from the England centre defence midfielder. 1-0 to the Hammers, 64 minutes into the game. Very good to see here. You know, short ball from West Ham. Pye with the ball in and that's a brilliant header there from Eric Dier. To get his first goal for the club. It's brilliant to see and that could be the, you know, the the goal this could be the goal that wins us the game as we do bring on Antonio Obiang and Darius Sedia obviously um, 
But all players are on very good form at the moment as we do put a corner ball in yet again. Trying to find Reed. Everyone was beat off the line from OK. And it falls to Antonio Federici with a great reflex save. Keeps the game at 1 0. 79 minutes into the game now. Juan Turbe onto the ball. Headed down from Gonzalo into the path of Gradle who finds the back of net. But for the second time this episode, a goal has been ruled out for offside for our position. As Sermon gets onto the ball now, does find Wilson into a Turbe. A Turbe turns into the path of Sermon. Adrian does hold on. The game would come to an end. Final score here is West Ham United 1, AFC Bournemouth 0. And that is a perfect start to the season here, guys. So, if you did enjoy today's video, as always, make sure to smash that like button. It's been a perfect start to the Barclays Premier League season for us. And the team have been performing absolutely brilliantly. We've got the Barclays Premier League table to pop up here. So, make sure you stay tuned for that coming up. But, three games, three wins. We have actually scored a total of four goals in three games and only conceded one perfect start for us and hopefully we can continue that going forward. But this Premier League table does look very good for us. We are in second position after a near per well, a perfect start along with West Brom at Jalbion. But guys, if you did enjoy today's video, make sure you do smash that like button. I would very much appreciate it. If you are new around here, you haven't already, you enjoy the content you see, hit that subscribe button too. It really does help the channel grow and I really would appreciate it. And also, if you are new around here, you know, just leave some comments down below. I'd really much appreciate it. As always, have a really nice day and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.